Hello, welcome to the 14th episode of Beyond the Present Podcast. I'm here joined live by Pujix from Canada. Hey there, my man, buddy. How's it going? Hey there. Everything's awesome, guys. Fantastic. And of course, I'm joined by Cynix. That's right. He's right here again and want to see how he's doing. So, Cynix, how are you doing, my man? Hi there, old buddies, old pals. Good to be here. Fantastic. Thanks for having me. Bravo. So glad to have you all on board. And today's topic is about entrepreneurship. So let's first of all start off by defining what it means to be an entrepreneur. I mean, the word entrepreneurship nowadays is a huge thing, like, uh, like quite hot these days. And it's just used all around social media. But oftentimes we just don't really understand what this word really means. So let's get started here with uh, Pujik. So Pujik, what do you think about the meaning the proper meaning of the word entrepreneur. Who is an entrepreneur? Well, basically, uh, the person who's basically organizing and running and operating a business uh, for himself or herself with a group of people, but then he is the top or head of the organization, basically. Interesting. Very well. So, next, how do you define an entrepreneur? You know, generally, entrepreneurship is the process of designing, launching, or running a new business, which is often initially a small business. Um, the people who create these businesses are simply called uh, entrepreneurs. Okay, very well. So for now, we have discussed and defined what it means to be an entrepreneur, but let us just go ahead a little bit and dive deeper into what it means to be an entrepreneur and how does it feel like to actually live like an entrepreneur. So let's move on to you, Pujix. Uh, how does it feel like to be an entrepreneur? And you yourself are an entrepreneur. So it's also about, about your background in entrepreneurship and more importantly, how do you conduct your business? Right. Uh, actually, I started my my uh, career life uh, as an entrepreneur like a long time ago, and then later I decided to go to school. So, I'd like. Um, I mean, it's it's obviously a very. Uh, you know, sort of stressful and somewhat risky business to be in because, well, if it doesn't pay off, then it doesn't pay off. If you hire people, you pay them, but then you might not get paid. There are obviously all these aspects to it uh, and depends on how you actually conduct a business. But so you're taking a lot of risk, uh, risks financially and perhaps a lot of you, you put in a lot of effort as well. But rather when you actually achieve something and when you come up with uh, results, then it's very rewarding very um very nice as well of course interesting so you yourself like being an entrepreneur let's move on to cynics here so cynics you also are currently an entrepreneur you run your own business basically and I, I believe it's in the insurance business or something like that so right now tell us uh, tell our listeners about uh, your perspective how does it feel like to run your own business and to deal with all the challenges day in and day out you know, as an entrepreneur, I uh, actually rather rather than working as an employee, uh, I found a run a small business, assuming all the risks and rewards of the venture. The entrepreneur, uh, you know, is commonly seen as an an innovator, a, a source of new ideas, goods, services, and business or procedures. Interesting. But still, let's talk about your own personal experience. You mentioned that, of course, but how does it feel like for you to be an entrepreneur and to work as an entrepreneur? I don't have a boss. That's I'm very a, good. I'm my own boss. That's right. I do what I want. And second of all, it's all about creativity, innovation. It's creating something new out of nothing. Very nice. Interesting. So let's move on now back here. As we all know, ultimately, it's about having that lifestyle where you are your own boss. I mean, let's be honest, as an entrepreneur, you have these situations where you face with a lot of problems and challenges in life. However, ultimately, in the end, you have one fewer problem than most people, and that's you do not have to deal with a boss. So, but at the same time, there's this huge argument, uh, basically, among most entrepreneurs, they say, you're right. And obviously, it's uh, quite challenging because on the one hand, you do not have basically uh, one boss, but you have to deal with a lot of people. And uh, ultimately, they say you have a lot of mini bosses because these clients are the kings and you have to deal with them one by one. So, Pujix, what do you think about this matter when you have to actually create your own lifestyle surrounding entrepreneurship? You do not have one boss who makes all the decisions, but how about dealing with all these clients who then might have their own demands and problems? You know, of course, I mean, there's, there's that problem for sure. There's, uh, there's no doubt about it. My personal preference on entrepreneurship over, um, uh, yeah, I mean, being an employee is that 
as an employee, your your realm it's not just dealing with a person or two. It's that um, your realm of maneuver is very limited. Uh, but as an as an entrepreneur, you rather have to deal with much more uh, individuals or groups of people, companies, etc. But then your maneuver is is much more. Uh, it, it, your realm of man, maneuver is much more. Uh, uh, it's, it's much bigger, so, That's so right. you have a lot of you, lo- you have a lot of uh, areas to explore, and you are basically uh, uh, dealing the way that you want with those guys, not the way that you t- you're told. And I find that rewarding for myself because I'm I'm the kind of person that I wants to explore different options, try doing different things, um, do my own thing. Rather, it's very simple, uh, simply put. Um, so I think that that has. Uh, that is the most important part about this matter that I get to basically decide what I want or how I want to uh, deal with this specific situations. Uh, but but it's it's very true. It's not it's not easier. It's not supposed to be easier. Exactly. It's just it's just it's just more uh, rewarding for me personally. That's right. So the challenge is higher, but the reward is there, and of course, there's the true sense of freedom. We can actually move on. So let me move on here to Cenex. Uh, from your perspective, having one boss. So imagine you're working right now and there's this company that you're working for and you have one boss. You can just please this one boss and it's all done. But if you run your own business, then you have to please a lot of clients and customers and so many other things. So how do you deal with that? Like what is your perspective? Which one is easier for you personally? Um, I personally don't like to have one boss. In that case, I do not have you know such motivation to develop and improve my business. Mm-hmm. But when I have different clients, they have different tastes, they have different demands, and I do need to fulfill their demands. And, you know, entrepreneurs play a key role in any economy. Uh, These people are those who have the skills and initiative necessary to anticipate current and future needs and bring good new ideas to market. That's right. Very well. So none of these things can actually be done by non-entrepreneurs, basically. And ultimately, it's about bringing that innovation and thinking about the future trends and trying to somehow be creative. I mean, let's be honest. If you have a job, then all you have to do is just uh, do what he says. You have no creativity involved here unless you're supposed to. But when you're an entrepreneur, you have to actually delve into your uh, basically entrepreneurship. And that's, of course, very, very important. So let's go back to Pujix here. Uh, from your perspective now, uh, what are the pros and cons of being an entrepreneur? I mean, like you mentioned earlier that there's a lot of risks and, of course, a lot of rewards as well. But generally, I think being an entrepreneur and having that lifestyle will bring with it a lot of pros and cons. So what is your perspective about this matter? Um, yeah, as you mentioned, it's, it's actually – there are lots and lots of cons. There's just so many factors are actually worse. But then again, the reward is also much, much higher. You can think of it as a – as a gambling game that you're paying one dollar and your reward is also one dollar one dollar so if you win you lose one if, if you lose uh if you sorry if you lose you lose one if you win you win one but rather think about a different game of gamble i mean i'm not trying to say entrepreneurship is a gamble but i'm trying to say illustrate how the reward is bigger um but a different game of the gamble that you're putting down like thousands of dollars and then the reward is also thousands of dollars so the reward is much more gratifying when you have gone through all the obstacles and all the problems Um, and that is what is super super interesting and fascinating to me Uh, and you get to and as an as as an employee i have a very fixed hours i go to to work for example i don't know nine to ten nine to five or something like that and then, and then that's done. That's done. But as an entrepreneur, you're working year round, day round, week round, twenty four seven to three sixty five, perhaps sometimes. So I find that also very rewarding. And you basically get to develop what you want, cater cater to it. it it's practically like having a kid. Although I didn't have a kid, so I can't really say for sure. First of all, you can be sure, like buddy. It. I know about your background, so maybe you do have a kid or something. I don't know. <laughs> Somewhere. I, I might. I'm, I'm <laughs> That's <over>. right. <laughs> well. All right. So very well. That's a good one. Let's move on to Cynics here. So Cynics, from your perspective, uh, what are the pros and cons of leading an entrepreneurial lifestyle? You know, I, I told you earlier, you feel like you're uh, your own boss. You are literally your own boss. You, you don't have to 
do what some other people ask you to do. You're doing what you want to do. And uh, your clients are supposed to be your bosses. They, they actually help you improve your skills of management and innovation. Interesting. So these are all great, of course, and they make a lot of sense when it comes to understanding entrepreneurship. But for now, let us talk about how we can actually get started with entrepreneurship. There are a lot of people out there right now who might wondering, well, how can I become an entrepreneur like you guys? So Pujix, what are some of your advices here? How could people become entrepreneurs? Yeah, of course. I mean, um, you have to uh, realize that if you're very much used to a very fixed schedule of nine to five and weekdays, that that probably goes out the window. I'm not saying it's impossible to do it that way. I'm saying it's most likely if you want to actually g get results, it's most likely that you're not going to do it that way. So you're going to have to adjust your lifestyle quite a bit. So that's the first step that a lot of people uh, have to take into account and see whether they actually want to do that. Um, and and after that, it's not really uh, – if well, it depends on what you want to do, but not it's not necessarily really that hard. You can just start doing something and asking for money, and that's – well, that's it's more of a solopreneurship, but then the same idea, being your own uh, business person, your own boss, etc. So you can you, – like one of the one of the businesses that I run, well, which is weird to call business because it's so small, is tutoring. I actually go tutor people, and it's, it's my own thing. I only work – at this particular business, uh, nobody else, and that's it. So it, it starts as simple as that, and it gets more sophisticated, of course, as you can all, all imagine. Interesting. So, Cynics, what is your perspective? If somebody wants to get started with entrepreneurship, what is your advice for that person? How could they get started? First of all, you do need to know why you're becoming an entrepreneur. You know, what well, what is your business? What is the demand for your marketable skill? And uh, you do need to know your clients, how to deal with your clients. All these stuff matter. Interesting. These are all great. But let us now go for one simple fact, and that is entrepreneurship, from my perspective, is not for everyone. That is, there are a lot of you out there who think it is so cool and sexy to be an entrepreneur. Here's the darn truth. That is simply not true. From my perspective, becoming being an entrepreneur, becoming an entrepreneur, they involve uh, living your life in a way that is far from what most people think of to be cool, and instead it involves lots of hard work, lots of trial and error, dealing with all sorts of people, and because of this, you might not actually enjoy it at first. So I personally believe that not everybody is supposed to be an entrepreneur. That is, I do not recommend because our even though entrepreneurship is for for me personally is a huge passion, I don't think that everyone should become an entrepreneur because ultimately the lifestyle that it brings is, from my perspective, rather difficult. So you have to have a specific personality, a specific drive and desire to actually want to be an entrepreneur. So uh, given the fact that right now we are trying to help our listeners to somehow think about running a business, let us talk about uh, basically uh, the ups and downs as they go along. So what's a typical day for an entrepreneur? Uh, first, you, Pujix. Oh well, it depends on your business, but then yeah, it's you 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 wake up, you might face a lot of disasters at the brink of the morning, and then you got to deal with them. Like, and you're the one who's responsible for them. Like, you might have that situation as a, as an employee, but then ultimately you might not necessarily be the end guy responsible. It, it goes up up and down hierarchy depending on your position, of course. Uh, so. Uh, to complement your point of like not everybody is supposed to be an entrepreneur, I agree with you, and uh, uh, like a lot of people wouldn't appreciate it. And my point is, if you if it's, if this is the first time you're hearing about entrepreneurship, which I highly doubt, then go read about it. But if not, if you're still doubting whether you should, sorry, oh, go ahead, go ahead, something. Um, if you if you feel like you should be an entrepreneur, you probably shouldn't. It's more like a drive, like drive that you cannot really do anything. Like I have to be an entrepreneur. This is my calling, kind of thing. So I agree with you on that. And um, and not everybody is meant to be an entrepreneur. Interesting, good point in that regard. So, cynics, what is a typical day for an entrepreneur like? Uh, basically, how do they uh, lead their day to day lives? First of all, you work for yourself. That must be nice, of course, but it is not, uh, you know, like that. It's easier said than done. You know, what so many people uh, are actually telling me 
is this that you do you do not have to be that disciplined you do not have to be like us uh waking up early in the morning and you know working your ass off from dawn to dusk and uh you know doing some repeated stuff some some uh you know some stuff that are actually uh nonsense and uh stuff that you simply don't like but it's actually much harder than that you do need to be disciplined and discipline is not a natural state of mind it's very difficult exactly. uh, problems are every are part of your everyday life exactly. and you need to deal with them so you see, uh, since you mentioned about uh, discipline and the fact that it's not a natural state of mind and that we all need it. So Pujic, what are the other psychological qualities that are very important for entrepreneurs? I think one of the most important ones would be resilience and resolve. You may fail like many times, but it shouldn't discourage you or it shouldn't deviate you from the path. You've got to have, uh, you got to have patience. You got to be resilient. You got to keep doing what you're doing. Uh, make sure you get the process right and keep doing it. And, um, it will, it will bear fruit, but then you might be, uh, you might have to be really patient years without, uh, major or relatively good rewards. So I think those two, like a resolve, uh, is, is one of the most important, uh, characteristics psychologically. Fantastic. So you all mentioned resolve, resilience, as well as discipline. These are all important qualities when it comes to being an entrepreneur. But ultimately, I really believe that, uh, this, Autonomous goal setting mindset is a huge, huge aspect of being an entrepreneur because ultimately those who are uh, in a business for themselves, they have to understand and master the art of goal setting and goal achieving because there is no boss here to tell you what to do. It's all up to you to decide what to do with your time, how to spend your time with what types of clients to deal with and not. So all of these things are ultimately about being autonomous as well as a goal setter and a goal achiever in uh, heart, basically. These are all important factors. So with that being said, let's move on to the next question, which is about the future of entrepreneurship. So uh, Cynics, what do you think about the future of entrepreneurship and what is the current trend? Do you think more and more people will join uh, this field or perhaps this is something that is only hyped right now and in the future is going to go back to normal? Actually, it's all about failure. Uh, you, you need to fail. If you've never failed, you've never failed. You've never lived. Uh, you've got to actually lose uh, to finally gain something. You got to risk it to get the biscuit. You know, it's very difficult. You uh, are definitely, I'm not saying probably, uh, you're definitely going to fail too many times uh, before you become a millionaire, a billionaire. And uh, it's a very tough job. Uh, it's a bumpy road that you're actually uh, trying to, to, to go and move toward your goals. But uh, if you do your best and know what you're supposed to do, then eventually you might have a brilliant, bright future. Interesting. So let's just describe about what it takes to be uh, successful in business as well as in entrepreneurship. But my question for you, Pujix, is about the future trends. Like, where do you see entrepreneurship headed in the future? Um, yeah, I mean, it, it, whether it would be more, uh, I don't know, fashionable, I guess you can say. Um, I think it can be because... Um, like the reason that it's come so far during the past decade or so, um, mainly it, it's because of the technological adma- advancement that we had, which which actually helped entrepreneurs, helped everybody really, but then uh, like made the path a little bit clearer, a little bit more uh, travelable for for uh, for for many, and made a lot that wouldn't survive perhaps in the bumpy road before um, before this era to survive. So so and, and it's only getting better. And if and it's a good thing because if people do have that innovative, uh, th- those innovative ideas, those characteristics to move and push stuff forward and create things, then that's great. And I, I root for that. And I think um, it is only going to become uh, yeah bigger and bigger. And 
uh, doing so, perhaps it's going to break down a lot of these gigantic corporations into smaller uh, but good size uh, companies, rather. Interesting. And that's exactly our hope because that will ultimately benefit a lot of the customers because the higher and the tougher the competition, Definitely. the more the basically clients and customers are served. And of course, the less they have to pay for it. So these are all great. We like a free economy. We like free enterprise and, of course, competition among all businesses. So uh, we're running out of the time here. So let's go for a wrap up of the entire discussion. First, let's move on to Cynics. So Cynics, after all that we talked uh, regarding entrepreneurship, what is now your final comment? All righty. It's, it's all about commitment. It's all about the resolution you make for yourself uh, to, to be. All right. So listen. All uh, right. So you know what? I'm just going to. Oh, okay. What? As I was saying, it's all about uh, your your commitment and resolution. You, you've got to do your best uh, in order to succeed. You do need to read a lot of books. You do need to have mentors uh, that play an important role in, in your life in order to become a successful entrepreneur. Uh, wish you the best. I hope that uh, everyone who wants to be a, su- a successful entrepreneur uh, one day becomes a millionaire or billionaire. Fantastic. And of course, Pujis, what is your final comment? Yeah, I mean, uh, think about it. If you want to be, that's that's great. But then don't, we said this already, but I want to emphasize, don't think of it as a super glamorous thing. It it has its, uh, its glamour, but nothing worth having comes easy. So you have to pay the dues to get those uh, uh you know those those rewards as well so so yeah it's it's going to be a bumpy road but it's exciting if it fits your character if it's your character go for it Lo- uh, i love it and if you're already doing it kudos to you and uh we love to hear your opinions too Bravo. Fantastic. And that's all the time we have for, for all those aspiring entrepreneurs. If you would really like to join uh, this group of people, then please, by all means, go for it. It's a fantastic journey. There's a lot of risks ahead, but trust me, guys, it's totally worth it. This is uh, Beyond the Present Podcast, and my name is Daniel Morgan. Thank you very much for listening to our show. 